It is JB on the Lounges Plus Live Lounge with the one and only Dave Gleason. How are you? Good, mate. Very well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. It's uh, my pleasure to be here. When was the last time? I know I've seen you live before in Tamworth many, many, many moons ago at the old Imperial oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Hotel. Yeah. Um, when was the last time you came here? Sure, that you've been here to since play. Then. To play, I reckon, was about nine years ago at the Wall of Festival was yeah. on. Yeah. Um, yeah. The first. The first time we ever played was at the Leagues Club. Yeah. Um, yeah. Many moons ago. That was probably about yeah. 98 or something. Yeah, I think right. it was just yeah. after we'd done the Slim Dusty um, yeah. uh, Kanamala Follow tribute. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, awesome. Well, welcome back again. Right, love you, it. You're as loud as you are when I saw you at the Imperial uh, Hotel all those years ago. I just remember it's still to this day the loudest concert I've ever oh, been to. Oh, you're so well too done. kind. <laughs> you're too kind. Is it louder now? <laughs> I, don't think, I don't know. I'm getting deafer, so it, uh, it all sounds nice and quiet to me. <laughs> You've got the... Uh, I guess we can still call it a new album, 2023 yeah. Unprofessional Misconduct. I love the title. Yes, well, there's one thing we're good at, and it's misconduct. So <laughs> we kind of... Uh, but, I mean, obviously, the, the music industry is a lot different to all other kind of um, yeah. uh, industries people work in. And you were actually applauded for professional misconduct in this industry. So, uh, yeah, we continue to, to wear that as a badge of honour. <laughs> is, is that sort of the inspiration behind the the title? Is the music industry? Or yeah, oh, it, no, it was just, well, of... once again, all uh, like every album, you write down a thousand titles yeah. and... Uh, it, that, that was the one that everyone kind of resonated with. I had an idea of, you know, inappropriate behaviour in the workplace, um, but that, then we are going to do a photo of that, and then someone said, no, that's taken, <laughs> taken it way too far. Let's keep it in the music industry. <laughs> Maybe it was 1989 then, <laughs> yeah, Like Spinal Tap, smell the glove. <laughs> oh, I love it. How's 2024 looking? What have you got on the horizon? Uh, fair looking, of stuff? Yeah, fair bit of stuff. We uh, we, we continue, like we started this tour in uh, October maybe last year. Uh, it goes through till March. Um, we're about to, well, after... When f mid February, I think we started on the Red Hot Summer with uh, yeah. Susie Quattro and Cheap Trick and John Stevens, The Angels, Baby Animals, Jets, and Chocolate Starfish. I think so. That goes all around the country. That they're always uh, great shows. So looking forward to that. You're a busy man. Yeah, yeah. mate. Uh, it's, it's really good. I mean, to still be doing after 35 years, yeah. still being on the road and getting great crowds and stuff. It's uh, it's unreal. Does the longevity surprise you at all? After do, do you think back when you started that you'd still be here in the same band, kicking on after all that time? No, no. no. I, I look, I mean, obviously you want it to go as long as possible, and we always wanted to be a career band. But yeah, thirty-five years. I, I don't know anyone who's had the same job for 35, <laughs> 35 years. <laughs> no, no, no. That's definitely something to hang your hat on. That's yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Do Do you think? Um, Australian, I know, I, and I, I've chatted to you about this years and years and years ago. Um, Australian rock music, in particular, it seems to, for someone like your band, you know, nineteen eighty nine, you formed, you're still kicking around. It doesn't. The Australian rock music seems to have lost its way somewhat with new up and coming artists, and I just bring that up because the last five days of this festival country music seems to be so good at bringing through mm, yeah. and nurturing new talent yeah. other genres don't seem to do that is that a fair yeah assessment? absolutely i mean we try as hard as we can always to find young acts to support yeah. us yeah. i mean we had a band last year called pricey that uh, yeah. toured with us um pricey was the bloke who uh co-wrote um smarko yeah, yeah. Uh, with the chats, he was. He started off with the chats. He's got his own band. He's a young fella. There's a young band on the main, uh, on the road with us at the moment called Smacked Youth. Uh, but you're right. It's uh, it's very hard for because uh, country radio supports up and coming um, yeah. musicians. Yeah. Um, but rock radio seems to kind of only do the tried yeah. and tested and yeah. the, the, the stuff that's happened before. Like if you. Feel the, a new band releasing a song that's brilliant, you're going to have a harder time than the Foo Fighters who, who might release a yeah. terrible song. Yeah. 
what it, they, it might happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but they're going to get played yeah. on the radio. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. kind of, yeah, it is, it's detrimental to the whole kind of, uh, as you say, nurturing the, the new yeah. talent that kind of will take us to the next uh, next 10 years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's my most serious question to ask you. So, something a little less serious. Toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you hang it uh, away from the... Or have asked all the artists this. Do you hang it away from the wall like that or against the wall? If you hang it like this against the wall... Yeah. Pretty sure that means you're a terrorist. <laughs> so, from this way... From this way, this is, this is how non-terrorists do it. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Would you be able to sign the I don't want to make like uh, assumptions. <laughs> That's how the ASIO they go through the toilet to the exactly airport. Exactly right. And find out who's putting it down there. And go, you're in our little black the hell did that? That's getting long now. It is, isn't is it? That, that's good. That, I, I, I found a place. Is it? Is that one of the strangest things you've signed? Is uh, First the time I've ever signed toilet paper. There we go. No Fantastic. shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave, <laughs> Dave Gleason, thank you so much for the chat. Lovely. And uh, of course, enjoy your time here in Tamworth at the Long Yard tonight. If I've yep. got my days right. It is indeed. So lovely. Thank you so Did much, you? Dave. Cheers. Thank you. Very thank much. you. Cheers. Cheers.